we are going to be talking about reflecting a point over both axes in the coordinate plane. Now, when we talk about the idea of a reflection, right, think about standing in front of a mirror. The distance between you and the mirror is um, demonstrated right, in that um, image that you see. And so that's a similar thing when we rec reflect across an axis in math. We need to keep that distance the same, right? Because it's just getting mirrored over. So when we talk about both axes, right, that means this point is going to move twice. Now we're gonna take it one step at a time. Let's start by reflecting across the Y axis, right? Which we know is our vertical axis. And so our current point, actually let's write those coordinates first, our original coordinates, are three, seven. Now we're just gonna go across the Y axis. I'm gonna keep this seven the same because if I'm not level with my dot here, if I've gone up or down, that's not a reflection, right? That's something else. So the seven is gonna stay the same but instead of being at positive three, I need to keep that distance, but on the other side of the axis. And so my X value is going to change to negative three. When we reflect across the Y axis, your X value will become the opposite and the Y value stays the same. And now we're ready to reflect across the x-axis, which is our horizontal one. Similarly, like we know we have to stay at negative three now because if we've gone left or right, then we've, we've done something else in addition to a reflection. We've also shifted and we don't wanna do that. We're just reflecting. And because we're reflecting, we need this distance to be mirrored down here. And so we stay at negative three, but now, make sure I get this right, we're going down to negative seven. And so our final point <clears throat> that we're reflecting is going to have the coordinates negative three negative seven. So for a reflection across the y-axis, remember your x-coordinate is the one that changes, and for a reflection across the x-axis, the y-coordinate is the one that changes. So it's always the opposite.